up everybody welcome to the 8 CSS tutorial last time we talked about direct child selectors and this time we're going to be talking about direct adjacent selectors now what direct adjacent selectors do is allow you to apply a certain rule or declaration to any element when it appears side by side and shares the same parent now it's easier to see so let me go ahead and show you the syntax for this Say we wanted to apply red text to any heading 2 when it appears side by side and shared the same parent as a paragraph. So here's what we would do. Type in P for paragraph, add a plus sign, and type heading 2, and type any declaration you want. I'm going to use text color red. Then end your declaration. Now what this does right here is apply red text to any heading 2 when and only when it appears directly side by side with a paragraph and it has the same parent. Let's go ahead and show you what this looks like with XHTML. The parent tag I'm going to be using is the div tag and of course we have our paragraph and let's say we, let's just type this is text in our paragraph now let's end our paragraph right there and right under it apply your second heading and type this is heading 2 now let's close our heading 2 and of course close our div tag now as you can see Heading 2 is appearing directly next to our first paragraph and it's sharing the same parent, the div tag. So let's go ahead and save that and see what it looks like. As you can see, the heading 2 now has red text. This is the effect of a direct adjacent selector. It allows you to apply a CSS rule to an element when it appears next to the adjacent selector. Now let's say that we have another heading in between them, heading 3. This is 3. Now you can see that they're not adjacent to another and they have an element in between them. So let's go ahead and save that and see what it looks like now. As you see, since they are not directly adjacent, no CSS rules are applied. No red text anywhere. So now that we learn how to apply direct adjacent selectors, let me show you guys how to apply an indirect adjacent selector. As you can see, the syntax you use for this is called a tilde, which is above the tab key on the left hand side of your keyboard if you hold down the shift key. Now as you can see, I put one between the P and the heading 2. And what this allows you to do is apply the rule to your selector when it is indirectly related to this element. So anytime H2 and the paragraph share the same parent, and in this case the div tag, it's going to apply red text to the heading. So let's go ahead and save this and see what it looks like. As you can see, even though the heading number 2 is not directly touching the paragraph, we were able to use an indirect selector to affect the text. Now this is very useful when you want to apply this to a selector relating to another, but they're not touching each other directly. Remember, when they are touching each other directly, use a direct adjacent selector, which is the plus sign and when they have the same parent but they're not touching each other directly use the tilde now in the next section we're going to be talking about attribute selectors selectors sorry and if you missed anything i went over today you can go to my website thenewboston.com and i'll have a step-by-step -step instruction thank you